Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today we are doing a bit of a different video. Today I'm going to teach you what better TTV and Franker Phase Z actually is. So if you've ever seen a big streamer like Tim the Tatman, Ninja, or anyone else like that, if you open up their stream, for example, XQC, like that's a perfect example right there. If you open up their stream, there's going to be a lot, a lot of like texts like Lul W, Kick W, in bunch of spam like that pepe laugh and you might be like why why is everybody spamming this one word well the answer is better ttv and franker face are two twitch plugins two chrome plugins on twitch that just make you have custom emotes and you can add emotes to your channel custom emotes there's like share emotes there's, there's everything i'm gonna go into every single thing right now and i'm gonna show you how to do it let's go so if you go to uh, Tim the Tatman stream right now, he's playing uh, Call of Duty Wars and it doesn't matter. But right here, you can see these emotes, like how they actually look like. So they, there's a guy just said Pepega phone. It looks like the Pepega holding a megaphone. There's a mega lul, which is like an extended lul. And there's a lot of different things like this. Kick W, uh, Gachi Hyper, Pepe Love. There's, this is basically why Twitch is Twitch because of these emotes and this community. And it's like you can you can give your your opinions on certain things through an emote and it's perfect. Like if I go uh, and disable better TTV and Franker face, everything is just going to look like them just saying Pepe laugh in the chat. And you're going to be like, what? what is it? What is that text? So this is the answer. It's right there. So also, if you're on the phone, this will not be available. So you will not be able to actually uh have those emotes you will not be able to see them but if you want to set them up there's going to be links in the description below frankerfacez.com and betterttv.com so once you go to those websites they're going to say this enhanced switch with new features emotes and more download for chrome so you you can change your browser it's actually for every other browser but if you have chrome you click download for chrome you install it on the on the browser and you're fine then you go to frankerface it's basically the same thing but with more things so you go to that link, you click download for Chrome, you download it as well, and then you can go to emotes and you can see public library. There's like millions of emotes right here. You can see the top emotes, basically what everyone uses. There's You can see 115,000 people are using this POG emote right here and stuff like that. So if you want to add it to your channel, all you have to do is click on the tick and then mark whatever however many emotes you want and then you click add to channel like it says remove because i have 50 out of 50 i think usually you have 25 emotes on franker face and 15 emotes on a better ttv uh if you pay five dollars to franker face one time purchase like just five dollars you unlock 50 emotes so you get 15 total you get 25 bonus emotes you can use for your community and your community will love it trust me um add those emotes set them up what i have set up is basically better ttv has the emotes animated, most of them at least, and uh, Franker Face does not. So I have most of my animated emotes set through Better TTV. All you have to do as well is go to emotes over here. You go to top emotes, you see what you like, and then you click on the emote, you click add to channel, and boom, it is added to the channel. Uh, basically, what I said as well is like, I have most of the animated emotes right here added to Better TTV, and then the ones that are, that are not animated, because I have more slots, I have them added on Franker face. So what you can do is do the same thing, add them to your channel, wait like five to 10 minutes and they're gonna appear in the chat. Uh, this one more thing that I can show you is if you go to your stream, you can see right here, there's a chat settings icon, obviously the cogwheel. If you click on the switch to non uh, mod view, uh, you can see better TTV settings. There's a lot of better TTV stuff over here. There's also Franker face. Let's go into the better TTV stuff and let me explain everything for you guys. So if you go to better TTV settings, you can see there's a bunch of things you can enable, you can disable, and you can just make Twitch look better. Uh, there's anonymous chat. You can go into people's chats without appearing that like without them seeing that you're actually watching, them, which is kind of creepy, but it works. There's that. Uh, make sure to enable the first things first. Make sure to enable better TTV emotes and GIF emotes. Those things, to, uh, those two things have to be enabled for you to actually see those emotes. Uh, then go into all of these settings. Enable what you want, what you don't want. For example, if somebody's sharing a lot of bitties and spamming, you can disable the bits so you can see them. Uh, you can go to channel, uh, add those emotes as well. Uh, you can see a lot of stuff. You can back up and imp like import and export stuff. Uh, if you really want me guys to give you my settings, I can, I can back it up and then put it in the description as well. So you can download it. Let me know. 
Uh, and then there's also Franker face stuff. So if you go to the Franker face, uh, non-mod view right here, Franker face control center, there's a bunch of stuff as well. So if you go to layout, you can enable portrait mode all the time on Twitch. Uh, you can hide offline channels. You can uh, have the time display differently, theme, dark mode, light mode. You can change whatever you want change. You can do it here. Like there's so much stuff you can do. If you, for example, have your bot, uh, if your bot is spamming a lot, like a lot in the chat and you cannot see the messages because of the bot, what I have is in my OBS, like it's a specific chat and I have my uh, blacklisted keyword, basically my bot. So I see every message, but my bot. So I, I can see everything without missing a single message and the people complaining about it. You can do that as well. You can highlight words. If you think something needs to be highlighted, you can highlight it for you. You can set a specific font size specific font as well like i have the rubert the og twitch font not this new garbage one uh, you can set that up as well uh you can do whatever if you go to someone else's stream like for example again in the tat man there's a host icon so you no longer have to go to your page slash host type the name whatever you can just go to the channel and boom click the host icon and i'm gonna host him right now if i click host updating and it might take a while but it should be hosting. And then if I go to my channel, he's being hosted. Like, see, agent hosting team the Tatman. You can do the same thing right here. If you want to set up someone on, out, on auto host, you can click on this thing and then you can set up the auto host through the, through the arrow and stuff like that. So yeah, this is basically it. If you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you need any help with anything else, I this is pretty simple. As I said, there's nothing complicated. But a lot of people have been asking me to make this video. So if you do like it, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you don't know, only 5% of the people that watch my video are subscribed. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell, support me. It would mean the world. And if you don't know, again, I stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. Peace out and have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.